Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Insta Token Bites. Uh, today we are joined by the team at Tukitaki, a leading financial crime fighter and tech tech based out of Singapore and making these fights into Hong Kong. With us today are Eric and Patricia. Eric and Patricia, how are you doing today? Yeah, we are good. Yeah, right. Uh, would you like to introduce yourselves and uh, we'll then get into talking about Tukitaki and the solutions? Yeah, absolutely. So my name is Eric Margarian, and I am uh, the head of sales at Tukitaki, covering the APEC region. And my name is Patricia Kong. So I'm the sales lead head for Hong Kong market. So uh, Tukitaki actually is like Singapore headquarters office companies, and our solution is like AI power AML platform uh, to like kind of combat the financial crime uh, through the uh, technologies of graduate learning. So uh, what does that means? Uh, so basically, you know, uh, we found out that uh, quite a number of traditional uh, AML program in bands on in financial institutions, uh, a lot of them, most of them are using like kind of like traditional blue base uh, system or program to detect the uh, kind of like the suspicious activities in transactions uh, in terms of the patterns. And we see that there's a kind of like a gap that uh, the bands is like running quite a silo program. So they, you know, are very hard to like ena enable them to share the patterns, share the knowledge insight within the banking industry or the financial industry. So we come in as a tukitaki. What we come into picture is like we found out that uh, you know after the pandemic, COVID, we see that we see that there's a lot of changes in terms of the customer behavior, transaction behavior underlying. There's a lot of change and a lot of dynamic, real time changes and fraud happenings in the world. So we come in the picture is try to say that, you know, we help to gather the banking together and we have like a community federal learning platform to help the banks to share the patterns uh, into the ecosystem without disclosing any customer sensitive data as well as like how we work is like uh, the banks or the financial institutions, they can make use of this typo uh, typology repository. So we also power by AI machine learning to start this though pattern and also could generate quickly as see what is the insight from all those patterns and also generate real-time learning to generate a scenarios. So how the bands works, they can simply just download this uh, tip, uh, scenarios into their environments. They can put in the instance either on cloud or on-premises that we have option for them so they can learn it quickly from those scenarios and deploy into their uh, kind of like current AML program. So uh, there's two things could be improved. Say like uh, they are not going for a rule base because rule base usually is very, very difficult to kind of like react to the changes so quickly and they really cannot easy to generate some complicated scenarios. And what we are trying to come into this picture is like we can help the banks and the financial institutions to deploy the scenarios quicker. Uh, usually because right now for traditional programs, they might take like months and days to deploy and test and validate. But with our AI powered by these uh, technologies, we can help the banks to easier and deploy the scenario quicker. As well as our AI is actually it's an auditable, explainable, we can actually can help the banks and financial institutions to understand all the scenarios, what is the explanation at the back end, and we can also show all this result and answer from a banking and regulator perspective. So we also, from this kind of concept, we can apply quite a number of use cases, say like uh, we can help the banks to not just like do the typical screening or onboarding, but also we can make use of these technologies to help the banks to minimize the false positive because with the dynamic data, dynamic risk uh, kind of assessment, so to help the bank compliance officer to easily to understand what is the threshold optimized uh, and how is this work into their uh, kind of banking data so they can easily to understand how to deploy a new scenarios and make use of these scenarios and result to make them mitigate the risk and make a, make a better control. Thanks, uh, Patricia. Eric, you know, look, Wikipedia has been around for quite a few years. Yep. Among the early tech techs in the US that term, deploying AI, a lot of buzz around AI in terms of what can be done, which is theoretical and mm -hmm. more marketing tools versus in Practice applications and plans. Yeah. Patricia mentioned some of the use cases. Would you be able to highlight some of the clients you're working with and what changes and impact is? Yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. So in fact, up now, Tukitaki has been uh, selected by uh, most of the top uh, traditional banks, digital banks, and even top payment companies and fintechs. Uh, one example can be, for example, uh, UOB Bank, one of the largest banks in uh, uh, Singapore, as well as some across Southeast Asia. Uh, they also have quite a presence in uh, Hong Kong. And uh, so Tukitaki was really the first solution that uh, used AI solution for name screening and uh, ML and transaction screening to be deployed at uh, UOB. And as you rightly said, unlike other vendors who is most of it is conceptual, Tukitaki actually has been uh, has done this at UOB. We went live back in 2020, so we've been live for more than four years, which makes us really one of the solutions that it has a mature AI solution that has been deployed and has delivered tangible results. And these are keys. This is a key differentiator. So we have the playbook. We have the right experience. We understand the complexities of the banks and uh, fintechs on, and how to really truly leverage AI to deliver great results. And from what I understand, it's also quite multilingual capability. Yes, it does. So we are also uh, we've come up recently with uh, a uh, FinSense 3.0 which also leverages Gen AI and it has multi-language capabilities. So, in fact, I'm now, that covers some of various languages, including Chinese, and we actually cover 14 uh, different languages. Perfect. Thank you both for sharing yeah. so much about Tukitaki and good luck for the rest of AFF. And we'll be speaking more with Tukitaki yes. in the coming months. Thank you. Thank you.